Hello and welcome back to this uh, City Skyline series where today we're going to be doing something a bit different and something quite unique actually. We're going to be making an Air Force base. Um, I've been spending a lot of time up in Lincolnshire over the past couple of years and there are a lot of RAF bases up in Lincolnshire. It's all really flat land so they they have a lot of um, old airfields that were built during uh, World War II. So the kind of just extended all the bases out from that um so yeah i've been because i've been up there so much i've done a few tours around the bases and i was just thinking that you know it's quite a unique thing to try and do in city skylines uh, make military air force bases um and i really wanted to give it a go uh, i thought it'd be a really cool and unique thing to do so i've based this um this entire RAF base off of RAF Cranwell, which is kind of a military academy kind of base, so it's used mainly for teaching purposes. Um, it's where all the graduates will oh, graduate from. Um, and that's kind of the inspiration I took. Uh, and trying to keep true to, you know, what's at, how it's actually developed, I also added in like a little community village um, to house all the graduates. Um, so yeah, uh, if you enjoy the series so far, um, please subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into the time lapse. So to begin with, I just wanted to extend out one of the roads out of the village that we made in the last episode. And I kind of wanted this to loop all the way around the valley. Um, I found a really nice flat area way out um, on the very corner of the map. And I figured that would be the best place for it. I didn't really want to put a RAF base in the middle of the city or anywhere near the city. I thought, you know, it's best that it's a little ways out so that um, it can kind of stay a little bit private. You don't want too many through traffic. Um, so that was my thinking behind that. And I just completely got rid of all the trees and made a nice flat area just so that uh, we can have a runway and you can have good sight lines. Um, was that because that's what you'd want from a from an air force base and uh, and i had uh, just before the gate i put in a little visitors car park because when i went to um when i went to go visit some of the some of the ones up in lincolnshire that's what they had they had a a little car park just outside the main security checkpoint for um uh, people who just wanted to pull up and have a look around the base which you know if on certain days you are allowed to do um it's really interesting actually, I'd, I'd definitely recommend uh, doing that. Uh, and yeah, and then just made a little visitor's car park and then made a security gate um, just to, you know, it is a military compound after all, so there are you have to expect some security on the way in. Um, so I made like a kind of a double locking gate area and I put a huge fence, perimeter fence going all the way around just to keep, um, just to keep, you know, civilians out. Uh, you don't want them interfering, especially because it's, you know, there's military personnel and it's a sort of runway and all the things that come with that. Um, so I made it quite a big area. Um, the runway it doesn't actually end up taking too much of the Air Force Base up. Um, that's mainly given to the buildings and uh, the various amenities that I've put in. Um, but I did want to give it a nice, nice big area, um, just so I had plenty of room to kind of make. When you go to the RAF bases, they're not very enclosed. They're all quite spread out. There's a lot of open air. It's quite nice. Um, so I thought that would be the best kind of aesthetic to go for would be nothing too closed in, everything kind of open airs and, um, you know, yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is just a double locking gate that I put in, um, just, you know, a, a security measure just to make sure that one goes closed so that you're always stopping. If something goes wrong, you can, you know, trap whoever's just trying to do some, some shady stuff in, uh, in the gate. Um, and then I just started to draw out some of the baselines, but then I realized what I actually wanted to do was make a little viewing platform. Um, for you know plane spotters and stuff um, so just outside the base I made this nice little ramp with just a car park and a few small parks um, and the idea being that 
all the plane watchers could come here and the, you know they could watch the typhoons fly in and all the jets and um, that'd be a really cool idea because you know it's not a lot of the air force bases they're not very private you I mean most of them are just off a road so you're literally driving past them so if you want to if you want to drive past and have a nosy and see what planes are in you can completely do that there's a it's not com it's not really that private um obviously the, the goings on inside the base are pretty private but um from the if you just want to do some plane spotting you're more than free to um i found this really cool asset on the store that is kind of like an it's like an airport terminal essentially but it doesn't actually have any buildings it's just kind of uh, you know what you get at many airports where you just pull up on the concrete and then a bus comes and picks you up or something yeah, it's basically just that um, and you use that with the uh, airport roads mod and you can have planes land on it so I, I used that because it actually um, that's kind of what I wanted I didn't want any actual terminals because this is a military airport and not a civilian one it wouldn't really make sense um, to have an actual terminal um, so I just wanted the open air ones uh, and because again because it's a small RAF base um, the control tower doesn't need to be huge it's not you know it's not got several runways and it's not trying to organize like hundreds of planes an hour and all that so just a really small um, a little small control tower will do and one thing that I, I'll do in a second but one thing I found quite interesting was um, when I went to one of the bases, one of the buildings we had to get to was on the other side of the runway and to get to the runway you had to actually uh, drive over it um, or around the side I should say um, and there's a little checkpoint that you have to do but it's not manned, it's it's mainly for the workers there so people actually work there and know, what, um, know what's going on and what you have to do is there's this huge sign that you have to pull your car up at and you have to get out and do a bomb check so you have to look under all your wheel arches um, look under your car and do a check to make sure that no one's planted anything um, and someone from the airport control tower actually watches you do this just to make sure that you've actually gone through with it and if not then you're in big trouble um, it was just a really cool little fact that I had no idea um, was actually a thing. But you know, it might, might come up in a, a pub quiz one day. Um, so that's why I put those little stop signs just on the roads in and out of the uh, where the runway was going to be. Um, so I'd made a very basic design for the runway. It's basically uh, one runway is for the planes landing and then the other is for them taking off. And then because all the planes go up to the top um i'm just made a basically it's just basically a loop that goes around uh, just to keep the planes flowing although you know they come infrequently enough that i doubt it would ever be a problem but that's no reason not to have a good design so that's what the uh, plan was with that and and yeah i found these um so th as i mentioned at the start of the video uh, the amount of assets that are actually available on the workshop for like military assets are very limited um, but I did manage to find some really cool uh, fighter jets they are called like the Eurofighter pack or something um, and in that pack you get uh, I believe it is an RAF fighter uh, an Italian fighter and a Spanish fighter jet I want to say um, they're all the same model, but they're all textured slightly differently. Um, but they were really cool, and I also found this really big kind of RAF Airbus. Um, not quite like a Vulcan, um, but you know something that would be more of a supply uh, aircraft rather than a, um, a bomber or a fighter. Um, and that was really cool. Uh, yeah, as you can see me plump it, plunking it down there. Um, I mean, it's basically just a reskinned cargo plane, but it's got the the open propellers and it's got a really cool military look um, so I just thought I'd add in some static planes around the base just to make sh make it feel a bit more like a military base than a regular base a uh, regular airport I should say sorry um, and yeah I think they work really well and I obviously I put them 
I, I'm actually moved the planes in a minute. Um, I decided that they would be much better uh, kind of next to the plane spotters hill so that when people turn up the you know if it's a quiet day and nothing's coming in they've actually still got something to look at so that was the thinking there um and yeah these the buildings that i'm plunking down now they're uh, one of the only like kind of military base buildings that i found um i was looking for something kind of like that where you know they're just very basic portable huts they're not really built to last um, they're kind of built because they can be knocked down at a moment's notice and moved um, whenever, whenever it's whenever it's required, really. Because you know layouts change so often in the military, they don't keep something identical for too long. Um, so buildings get repurposed and all kinds of stuff. So that's why I wanted those kind of temporary-looking ones. Um, so yeah, I found a really cool mod for that. I'll put that in the description below. Not a mod, sorry, an asset pack. Um, so yeah, that was quite cool. I actually had some, I let the simulation run off camera for a bit and I completely forgot to put a fire station in anywhere near the base. So uh, one of them caught on fire and then they all caught on fire because all the closest fire station was in the downtown area, which was a long, long way away. <laughs> Um, so that was a little bit of an oversight on my part, but it's fine. I knocked it down, I rebuilt them. Um, and so this area, I kind of wanted to make like the military academy area. So I do like the idea that this base is main, the main purpose of it is um, not really for, well, a little bit for defense, obviously, because it is a base, but more for um, teaching, more for... Um, you know the fresh recruits to come in learn how to fly learn all the all the you know how to use all the equipment how to um, do whatever their job requires essentially um, go through their basic training go through their more advanced training um, so I use the Blackwell Academy asset for the kind of um, the main feature like the main RAF building um, I thought it had quite a nice aesthetic. I wanted it to be quite plain, nothing, nothing too fancy. And the the buildings in RF bases, even like the really old ones, and you know the the focal points of the of the base, they're not, you know, they're, oh, they're not overstated. They're quite, not flashy. You don't want them to be really. Um, but I did do a bit of landscaping on the lawn. I made the lawn look a bit nicer. I did a fountain in there and just like some kind of cross path to because this is where I imagined all the graduates would come out onto once they have graduated and this is where the the celebrations would be held all the ceremonies um, and yeah I added a few of the nicer looking dorms um, they're part of like a university pack but I just repurposed them for 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 this purpose uh, so yeah, um, I added in a few more of the military base buildings, um, again just for like, this is where all the people will be coming off the plane, so this is where they'd all get processed, this would be like the temporary accommodation, um, you know, the officers mess, um, all kinds of stuff, just very basic buildings that are just there to do a job, they're not there because they're going to be there forever. Um, and then I just wanted to add in... A f <laughs> I always have this problem in all my videos. I hate just having flat green areas in my city. It always makes things just look a bit bland and a bit empty. Um, so I, I did my best to fill in some of that area with the trees, but then I also thought I didn't want it to become overgrown because an RAF base you would assume would be, you know, Im kind of immaculately um, kept. So I didn't want to make it too wild, but so I kind of had to compromise a little bit on there. Um, and, and for this bit, what I'm actually doing is uh, Rugby Union is extremely popular in the forces. Um, there's actually a base near me. It's not an RAF base, it's an army base um, at Aldershot. Um, they have their own rugby stadium. Um, I actually went there recently to watch them play. Um, and rugby is a huge thing in the forces. It has like a they have a big thing at Twickenham every year, which is, you know, like the RAF versus the army. Um, it gets a huge turnout. It's a really good day out. Um, so I thought, you know, in the 
all the recruits downtime they want to do some fizz they want to do train f to beat the army um i did a gym in as well on this road uh i think i'm just about to add that in the video but yeah it's it's still an it's still a military base so there are going to be lots of fizz that get that people are going to have to do um and it's kind of why i put it also put it way out in in the middle of nowhere so i was gonna put in like a pathway like you could imagine them jogging down and stuff um that goes way out into the hills and stuff but i didn't do that in this video but I'll, i think i might end up doing that off camera um yeah and then i just added in some more dorms because uh, i didn't i didn't think that two uh, feel like two was enough um but yeah and then the final thing I wanted to add really was just like a small estate for the um, the more senior members or the more permanent um, members of the base to stay. Um, so the, the dorms would be for the new recruits and then for the people who are actually doing the training, who work out of this base, um, there'd be a small little village that didn't really have, wouldn't really have much. Um, I put in a primary school because uh, you know, they need someone to look after the kids during the day while they're at work. Um, and then I've just used the basic UK detached houses assets, quite similar to the ones that I used in the village in the last episode. Um, and I just made a nice little estate, nothing too fancy. I put like a local shop in. Um, I think that's all I put in actually. I think it was just the shop and the primary school. That was the only thing that I put in. Um, cause that's kind of all you'd expect to see really. Um, so yeah, it was a interesting episode. It took quite a lot of planning. I did my thing where I got Google Maps open on a different tab and I was kind of constantly referencing that to make sure I was doing things that looked sane. Um, but yeah, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did and you're enjoying the series, um, then please subscribe. It'd help me out a lot. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, um, give it a thumbs down. If you've got any feedback, drop it in the comments. If you want to see me do anything in the future, um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.